Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. We continue our tour of what may matter by talking about span length. A common question asked is what is the best distance between rollers? While quite reasonable to ask, the general answer may not satisfy some of you. That is, that span length seldom matters much. Particularly, in comparison to many other concerns with web machine design. Web machines can usually perform quite well over an extremely long range of spans. Of course, as you should come to suspect, the gotcha is in the word usually. There are times when span matters, occasionally even a great deal. However, it is not the distance between rollers that matters so much as the L over W, which is the span length divided by web width. Also, as you should suspect if you follow my work closely, the word best in the question usually implies optimization. In short, there are issues with both long and short spans, and you want your machine to avoid both extremes as best possible. There are potential problems with long spans. However, they are seldom what people most often think of is that the web needs some kind of support. Webs are like telephone wires. The strength of most webs would allow spans far greater than you have ever seen without damage due to lack of support. There's sometimes a conceptual problem here. It is not sag that determines tension. It is tension that determines sag. It is occasionally true that really long spans can flutter or vibrate excessively, especially if there is air blowing in the area. However, much, much more common is that long paths or long machines allows for the web path to wander and either might require a guide to bring the path back home. However, by far the most common concern with long spans is that they are more prone to wrinkling as well as suffering from curl misbehavior. As we explain in our Web 101 course, it is difficult to determine what length may be too long before the fact because it largely depends on the precisions of the machine and, even more so, on the flatness and quality of the web you are running. However, after the fact, it is usually quite easy to tell when you went too far. The web wrinkles more on one span that is longer than most and there is nothing wrong with the rollers on either end, again as defined in our Web 101 class. However, as you should come to suspect, shorter is not necessarily better either if you go too far in that direction. First, alignment of short spans can be very challenging as the paper industry is known for a half century and wide format printing machines are just starting to figure out. Both of those industries are challenged by especially small L over W's. Second, path control can be a problem on short spans just as on long, but for different reasons that will not be discussed here. Finally, short spans can make it more difficult for operators and maintenance to do their jobs. Now after detailing concerns that will only affect a few of you, I don't want you to succumb to the false dilemma of having to choose either short span or fewest rollers. On a new machine, we want both short spans and fewest rollers. On existing machines, don't sweat it. Let the web tell you what it needs by looking to see what waste and delay issues are span sensitive as we described in Web 101. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned as we continue our tour of what matters in web handling.